Welcome to our channel. Today, our topic is going to be about the difference between venomous and non-venomous snakes. How can a layperson, someone who doesn't know much about snakes, safely tell the difference between a venomous and a non-venomous snake? Speaking of which, are venomous and poisonous the same thing? That's what we're going to talk about today. I'm Claudio Machado, and this is another episode of Papo de Cobra. Well, before we get into the difference between venomous and non-venomous snakes, let's start by defining a few terms. People usually ask, hey, are snake, serpent, and viper all the same thing? Are they synonyms or are they different? Let's get into it. In Portuguese, cobra and serpent are synonyms, but actually there's a difference because of English. English has two words that refer to these animals. There's snakes and cobras. Snake means any snake, any serpent, right? But cobra is just a group of serpents, the cobras, the nasus snakes, from a family we call elapidae, which are the cobras. So when you look at English, snake means any snake, any serpent, and cobra means you're talking about nasus snakes, elapids. In Portuguese, cobra and serpent are synonyms, right? Biologically speaking, they belong to a class that we call the class of reptiles, class reptilia. They're in an order, which is the order of animals that have scales, which is the order squamata, and within this order you have lizards and snakes, right? So we call them cobra or serpent. And vibora is usually used in the Spanish language. The Spanish, right, the countries that speak are to the Hispanic language, refer to venomous snakes as viboras, right? Which are usually animals from another genus, a European genus called the genus vipera. So, for Brazil, let's stick with this. Cobra and serpent are the same thing. We can use them as synonyms. The second question is, does a snake sting or bite? Well, that depends, right? If the snake isn't venomous, it bites. If the snake is venomous, can inject venom, has fangs that deliver venom, then it, then the snake stings. What's the difference between a venomous snake and a poisonous snake? Is that the same thing or not? Here we need to make an observation. In everyday language, we can say cobra venenosa or cobra pecanhenta, and it means the same thing. In popular speech, it doesn't matter if you say pecanhenta or venenosa. But there's a biological difference in this story. A poisonous animal has a toxic substance but it can inject that substance, in this case, the poison, into a person itself. A good example of this is the toad. The toad has poison, it's a poisonous animal, but it doesn't have any fangs, any stinger, nothing that could inject that poison into another animal or a victim. A venomous animal is one that also has a toxic substance, a poison, some kind of toxin, but it also has a way to inject that poison, that venom, into its prey or victim, right? In the case of snakes, for example, they have specialized teeth for that. There are a few types of specialized dentition, and we'll look at that in another video. Well, as we've seen, we can treat venomous snake and poisonous snake as synonyms, even though there is that biological difference we talked about. So, there are two types of snakes, right? Non-venomous snakes, or non-poisonous, either term works, and venomous or poisonous snakes. The thing is, most people think that the majority of snakes are venomous. But that's not true. Most snakes are not venomous. 90% of snakes don't have venom. So how do I tell a venomous snake from a non-venomous one? That's a question people ask a lot. Yeah, there are some superstitions about this. A lot of people think that the shape of the head is the key to identifying a venomous snake. A lot of people say things like, oh, if the snake has a triangular head, it's venomous. 
If the snake has a round head, it's not venomous. But there are some examples that go against this, right? Jararacas have triangular heads and are venomous. However, the boa is a non-venomous, constrictor snake, and it also has a triangular head. On the other hand, true coral snakes are extremely venomous, but they have round heads. So, what can we conclude? That the shape of the head doesn't classify or determine whether a snake is venomous or not. Another thing people use to identify venomous snakes, which also isn't correct, is the shape of the pupil in the eye. A lot of people say that animals, snakes that have slit pupils, what we call elliptical pupils, are venomous snakes, and those with round pupils are not venomous snakes. That's not correct either. Snakes that have elliptical pupils are animals with nocturnal habits. They're animals that are active at night. Meanwhile, snakes with round pupils are snakes that have diurnal habits. They are active during the day. In both cases, it doesn't matter whether they're venomous or not. It's not the fact that the animal has a round or elliptical pupil that determines whether it's venomous or not. Another characteristic that people also think can help identify whether a snake is venomous or not is the shape of its tail. A lot of people say that if a snake's tail tapers quickly, it's a venomous snake, and if it doesn't, if it tapers slowly, then it's a non-venomous snake. That's not true either, right? Actually, it often has more to do, sometimes, with the sex of the animal, right? Males usually have a longer tail than females. We'll explain why that is later. Or it could even be because of their habits. Animals that live in trees, which we call arboreal animals, have very long tails regardless of whether they're venomous or not. So, the shape of the tail doesn't help us either. Well, if the shape of the head isn't a reliable characteristic, and the shape of the pupil also isn't a reliable way to tell if a snake is venomous or not, and neither is the tail. So, is there really no characteristic that helps us identify whether a snake is venomous or not? Of course there is. The big problem is that when we see a snake, when a layperson sees a snake, they tend to look at the general appearance of the animal, the color, the size, the shape, and that's not what we should be looking at. We need to look at the details. Take a look at this photo. Here, we can see the decisive characteristic for identifying a venomous snake in Brazil. It's this opening you're seeing here, which is located between the eye and the nostril, right? Snakes that have this second opening, which we call the L'Oreal pit or lacrimal pit, are venomous snakes. Those that don't have it, aren't. This rule applies throughout the Americas, South America, Central America, and North America. However, this rule doesn't apply to snakes from Europe, Africa, or Asia, okay? So, for us to figure out if a snake is venomous or not, instead of looking at the general appearance, observing the overall look, let's start paying attention to the details, folks. Let's start looking at the front, the front of the snake's head and see if, on each side, there are two openings, two little holes. One is the nostril, the other is the L'Oreal pit. If that's the case, the snake is venomous. But if there's only one, which is the nostril, then the snake is non-venomous. Wait, but aren't there any exceptions to this rule? There is. To make things more complicated, there is, right? True coral snakes are extremely venomous, but they don't have a L'Oreal pit. Take a look at what they look like. See? They only have the eye and the nostril. There's no L'Oreal pit, and yet this is a venomous snake. So for us, the rule is this, if it has a L'Oreal pit, it's a venomous snake. Exception, coral snakes. If we stick to this, we can easily recognize these features using these characteristics, whether it's venomous or not. So today we learned the difference between a venomous snake and a non-venomous snake, and how to identify that. Yeah, thank you very much for, for being here, thank you for joining us, for being here with us in this video. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel so you'll get notified every time we post a new video. So subscribe down below, and thanks. See you next time. I'm Claudio Machado.
And this was another Papo de Cobra. 